1997 King of the Hill Wrestling Finals from Indian Hill High School in Cincinnati, Ohio. Don Ray and Ron Lepker. I'd like to announce the senior wrestlers and their escorts and their parents at this time. Uh, okay, this is senior night and this is just Indian prior Hill to the finals. Lindsay Morrison will present the honors. First, Drew Gleer. Drew Gleer's had a great uh, season for us. Uh, this is his third year in wrestling. His first year, he only won one match, and last year he won over 20. Set a school record for near falls, and he's having a great season this year. He's just had a great year. Ty Dunning is his first year, and uh, I think if he would have wrestled a couple of years uh, prior to this, he'd have had a, a great season. But he's the other one's first year wrestler. Next, Whit Magro. Escorted by Jonathan and Jenny Magro. And Whit Margo is uh, having a tremendous year at 171. He's one of the best 171 pound wrestlers in the city. Um, there's a good chance he could win between 30 and 35 matches this year. He's uh, 22 and six at this time. And um, he's obviously, we're really proud of him. He's one of our leaders on our team. A captain just having a great year. And it's his second year in wrestling. He's just doing a super job. Well, it is amazing second year in wrestling. Huh? Brian Rena, this is the most dedicated wrestler on the team. He has given up all sports for wrestling, wrestles all year round, traveled to Dayton uh, two or three times a week all summer long to wrestle uh, in the Greco Room and freestyle uh, tournaments and, and camps there. He's just had a great year. Escorted by Nancy Schwab. Rick Schwab had a great year for us last year, and he's following it up with just a fine year this year. And uh, he, he pins a lot of kids. He has a, a move which we uh, called Gator Roll, and he's uh, pinned a lot of uh, wrestlers with that, and, and he's just having a fine year. And with the districts last year, so that was that was a look good year for him. That, look, right. look forward to seeing that Gator Roll today. Yeah, you'll see it, I'm sure. <laughs> Todd Van E. Uh, recruited off the football team. Uh, Brian Ray wrestles 189. He's friends with Todd, and he says, we got to get somebody out here to wrestle with. And uh, he got him to come out this year, and he's just having a fine year. He's wrestling 215, and sometimes he goes up and wrestles 275 also, which he did in the preliminary matches today. And he's, he's just a great kid and, and doing a fine job for us. And uh, this is his first full year uh, of wrestling. He wrestled a little bit two years ago, and uh, we got him back out in the team, and we're really glad that he's here, and he's, he's just done a great job. So it's a, you can see we've got a large group of seniors, and uh, it's funny uh, to look at that a small school like this to have that many seniors, but that's helped our team a lot. And then we have a void where we have one junior, and we have one uh, sophomore, and then we've got a big group of freshmen. So Indian Hill, I think uh, this year we're, we're proud of the team. They're doing real well. Uh, the next two years we're going to have to recruit a lot more wrestlers that to go with that freshman team. But I think when the freshmen are uh, juniors, and then they'll have uh, at that time Brian Ray will be a senior, and they'll, it looks like they have a nice team if they can can uh, recruit some junior high kids out because we've got to. You know, Don, it's, it's really great to see Indian Hill having a comeback. You know, we had some we had some great years. Uh, you know, you were telling me that Nickel. Look at the camera to my right over there. Final match between Madeira and Indian Hill will take place at 3:30. Uh, we were we were just saying that uh, it's good to see Indian Hill want to come back and the programs on the up, upswing and that. Uh, it's gonna it look like it's gonna they're gonna have some great years coming up. Well, we and, I uh, I think that uh, one of the reasons that, that we're we're making this good comeback is that the uh, board of education and athletic department went out and they decided to get some people who were really interested in coaching the sport, you know, at all levels. And I think that's important. We had a couple of down years there, and I think that uh, you need the leadership on the mat by by just getting good coaches. And we've done that last couple of years, uh, I think that you're going to see the turnaround. It's, it's just started already, that's for sure. Well, the, uh, one of the big factors is having a coach that uh, teaches in the, in the school and uh, is close to the boys, and, and that way he can recruit and get the kids out. And uh, Tremendous facilities here at Indian Hill. They've got a wrestling room that's out of this world, and, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and they've got a wrestling tradition. Uh, not, we, we've got to keep that wrestling room, too. There's some talk that they may want to change that to a classroom. I hope they don't do that. Heaven forbid. That would be the worst thing that could happen. I'll make that announcement right here on, on TV. We want to keep the wrestling room just the way it is because uh, that's necessary. It, it really is. and it, they, uh, It's an excellent room, and it gives us 
great facilities, and, and that helps you recruit kids out. It really does. Oh, that's great. No, we don't put them back in there. When I, uh, when I started the program here at Indian Hill, we, we started in the cafeteria. Couldn't and be worse. I roll, would roll those mats out every night. I did that for years when I was coaching, too. And the time, <laughs> and it's just the whole thing is – uh, it just really hurts your program, there's no doubt. And, and you have to have the kids come out, and uh, you don't do that for any other sports, you know, and, and, and wrestling stuff enough as it is. But, uh, yeah, that would be a disaster. But there's, there's talk of that, and I hope that that, that talk is squelched uh, and we keep the wrestling room just the way it is. And uh, I think that in the future, because we've got the coaching now that we need, and that's at all levels, we've got uh, three coaches uh, that are really dedicated and they're young. And they can just go right out there in the mat with the kids and work with them. And uh, they're enthusiastic, and, and that's helped a lot. I see well, we've got a girl wrestling on our junior high program. She's you know got a couple of wins. We've got three or four other uh, young gentlemen on the junior high program that are doing real well. And, and that's what we need to do to win at the varsity level. We've got to get the junior high program with the numbers and with the quality and with the coaching. And then we've got a reserve coach this year that's uh, got a full reserve schedule. And he's been doing real well taking the, the team. Uh, of course, uh, I think that when you're wrestling primarily freshmen, it's, it's kind of difficult if they haven't had experience. But we've been able to uh, bring that level uh, to where we can compete at the reserve level with these younger kids. And then at the varsity level, we, we've got a lot of seniors, and, uh, and that's helped us a lot. And then we've got a, a kid, a sophomore, at 189 that's wrestled since kindergarten, and that helps a lot too. And then when you've got a boy like Rena, who's got his brother out now, he's wrestling uh, at the lighter weight, 103. And then himself, Brian, uh, is captain of the team, and he goes, uh, wrestles all summer long and goes to these camps and clinics and uh, wrestles freestyle and, and Greco-Roman. That stuff helps a lot. And he's going to have a tough match today because he, he's our captain, one of our best wrestlers, and he's going to wrestle one of, if not the best wrestler for uh, Madeira. So that will be a great match earlier on. So there's going to be some good matches coming up here. And, uh... We'll be right back with the first match. Uh, the teams are warming up right now, and so we're just going to take a break at this time. This is Ron Lepker and Don Ray from Indian Hill High School. King of the Hill 1997 King of the Hill Wrestling Tournament at the Indian Hill Braves and the Madera Mustangs going at it here this afternoon. Right now we're having the introductions. That'll be a great match. That's the one to watch later on. This is the other pivotal match. These three matches in a row are the ones that will decide the, the entire outcome. Okay, so they're going to start out with uh, three pins and those three upper weights, which is nice. If you recruit them out, you should get the points for them. Uh, so Indian Hill uh, will start with those. They're going to have those three uh, upper weights. They're going to get forfeits on all those three upper weights. Yeah, that's 18 points.
Pretty good wrestle head, huh? A great singer. I mean, wasn't that something? Good job, real good yes, job. Yes, that was excellent. That was excellent. That was a wrestle head from uh, Indian Hill. It did the national anthem. That was just nice. Nice way to start the program. Well, this is the finals of the King of the Hill tournament. And uh, both teams overwhelmingly uh, defeated all the other opponents. And uh, this should be a great match. They just match up real well. And Madeira's had a great year this year. They finished second at the Mississippi Wild Tournament. They've been in the top four of every tournament they've been in. Indian Hill has had a, a, a really tough schedule. They've wrestled the best uh, schedule for uh, a Division III team, I think, in the, in the city. There's no doubt about that, if not Southern Ohio. And as a result of that, they think that uh, they've raised their level of uh, wrestling, but it may hurt a little bit on the one loss column because they've wrestled such uh, all the Division I schools and really some powerful teams clear up uh, towards the Columbus area in that. So they've uh, had no dual meets. They've wrestled all tournaments and even up to uh, when they went to uh, Urbana last week was the eight teams in the Columbus Dayton area. And then prior to that, uh, they were wrestling on a 46-team tournament, 46 teams in, in Dayton, uh, the Dayton Coaches Classic up there. So uh, they, they've, they've been tested. There's no doubt about that. It's a great match here. In the Good opening. match, boy. They're going at it. They're going at it, Don. Uh, Brian tried a, uh, a head and arm and it failed. And there was almost a, a takedown on the edge of the map. We've got a nothing to nothing score. And you see, uh, uh, the Indian Hill wrestler is a little bit smaller. I think he, he could. Uh, he's a, you know, of course, the first weight class is 103, but he's he's not even 103. But he's uh, and he's a freshman, but uh, he sure is game. I mean, he's going in there. Well, he's he tried that head and arm, missed the head and arm, cost him the takedown. We've got two to nothing, Madera. But uh, he, he's aggressive, I'll tell you that. He, he's, he's going, going right, right after him. him. Yeah, he's he's a lot smaller height and, and stature. Of course, he's a freshman, so he hasn't developed yet. But uh, in a couple years, uh, the quality of, of the moves that, that he's doing here and the aggression he's shown, he could be an outstanding wrestler. His brother's done real well on the team. His brother's the captain, and uh, we're just glad to see you start that family tradition where you get the younger brothers coming out. That really helps. Uh-oh, he's in a little trouble here. Yeah, he's in, he's in big trouble now. Big trouble. Uh, you know, when you're, you're on that belly, the next thing you know, yeah, if you stay yeah. on that belly too long, you're going to end up on your back. Yeah, he's so much smaller, and he gets out of it. He got over. He got, that's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. This kid's a fighter. I mean, he he's so much smaller, and, and he was in... in uh, a bad position there. You know, the kid had a, a good pinning position. Um, Keith uh, Wriggling had him in, in, in a perfect pin, pinning position. He, he still got out of it. He's got he's to stay off that belly, get on that base. Got to get up on those he's knees. He's got the arm control in the two-on-one. And uh, for those of you who don't watch a whole lot of wrestling, the, the wrestler on the top has to work up for a pinning combination. It'd be locks hands, which... Uh, the referee will be looking for that. There'll be one point. You can't just just reach around and you know, grab your own hand and hold on to him. But he must go for a pin, and they're going to start the warning pretty soon if he doesn't work yeah, out. Yeah, it looks that way. He's, he's, he's staying back on the legs. Yeah, he just, just staying back, holding on, waiting for the kid to make a mistake on the bottom, and you're really not allowed to do that. you got to go for a pin. He tried an inside stand-up, and uh, it was countered by the Madeira wrestler, and all. Oh, he's got him in trouble now. But he's He's working his way out of it. He's got to fight that shoulder oh, blade. And it's a pin. Well, we got a pin. We got a pin. Team score will be six to nothing for Madeira. 16 points for a pin. Keith Wriggling of Madeira and Justin Reno from Indian Hill. Cool. Wriggling really looked good there. He, he was, uh, he countered every move uh, that Justin Reno tried from the bottom and then he got in that pinning combination right away. And and there just, was a strength well. differential too, a little strength. Yeah, there was a strength differential, but you know, as a freshman, that'll come. That's right. As he Take works time. hard at practice. He's the kind he's going to be good in the future. And uh, there's the, the these freshmen. There's a lot of freshmen on Indian Hill, and that's the future of the program. There's no doubt about it. Exactly. Now here's a kid that we're really looking forward to, uh, for big things in the future from Indian Hill. Um, he's a freshman too, but he's just shown a lot of ability. Uh, and practicing in the meets, but being a freshman, you know, he wrestles against some juniors and seniors, it gets pretty difficult. Uh, Elliot Nichols Elliot is the, Nichols. Is the Elliot freshman, Nichols. yes. And his dad wrestled for Indian Hill? Yes. Quite uh -oh. a number of years ago. That's what we need. We need to bring the, the family tradition. He's got it. 
He's got the leg. Got a good single. Got a good deep single. Oh, and he right. brings him down. Gets the takedown for Indian Hill. That was some great wrestling. Good wrestling. Good found yeah. fundamental Good wrestling. Use. It's called running the pipe. He brings the leg in between his own legs. And just kind of sits down and brings him to the side. Now he's working for pin. See how he's working up to the top? And that's what you have to do. He's working up towards the head. And, uh, but yet cautiously. He's not just going wild doing it. He gets a stand up. And he brings him right back down successfully, and that's what you want to do. Now, Elliott's a freshman also. Now, it may appear that he's locking his own hands, but he's not. As we said, the top wrestler, you can only lock your hands when you're in a pinning combination. Uh, he's going two-on-one rides. Now, this, if they, they can stand up, he can get an escape, and there it is. Well, we've got two-to-one, two-to-one Indian Hill. If the bottom wrestler uh, can get a stand up, oh, he gets oh, an ankle nice, pick. Nice, Brings him to the oh, mat. Now he's got to spin around and get the two. And there it is. It what a, what a natural move. What a really nice takedown. This kid's going to be something someday. I mean, you see that ankle pick was nice. Pulled his head down. Great move. Great move. This is the future of uh, Indian Neal here is with this freshman that are coming up. Put yeah, him in this, a varsity. This young man's got tremendous potential. Yeah. Put him in a varsity schedule like this. And you can see his dad must have been working with him. Uh, I definitely, definitely. Yeah. I see. Looks like I'm looking into the past here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he throws the legs in. A little bit of trouble there. Could be a reversal. It is. Is this a great match to watch? Great match. I mean, plenty of action. Two good, two good young ones. I, yes. I imagine. I'm not sure, but I imagine Madera. That's their, their freshman sophomore. Yep. Ryan so, uh, Picta. He's doing a great job. I mean, both of them are just so aggressive, and you couldn't ask for any more action. That's what's nice about watching these lightweights. One thing after another. Got a four to three score. Oh, Manny. Ooh, that looked like a little unnecessary I roughness there. I'm surprised I, I the ref didn't say something. Yeah, I would. I think I'd have hit him with a point on that yeah, one. Yeah, a little yeah. unnecessary. Hit him right the behind the neck. That's right. Uh, that, uh, that's, that's uncalled for. Yeah. Looked like he uh, may have hurt his elbow a little bit too when he hit. Now, if the wrestler on the bottom can get to a standing position, and get chest to chest or face to face, then this is uh, will be an escape and you get one point. The wrestler on the top is going to try to bring him uh, to the mat and to his back for near fall points. He All right, it. first move up, 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 stand up, good stand up, off the mat. Okay. You see how quickly they went out of bounds. You want to talk about that a little bit from the referee standpoint? What he's looking about when they go out of bounds so quickly like that, whether it's. Uh, uh, a point, a penalty point for It's going really out. difficult to tell if it's intentional. Again, we'll, we'll watch it again. I made it's going to happen again. Uh, this time, Nichols doesn't get up. He's coming up. There he's up. And he uh, turns in. There's his Head one point. Control. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, almost, almost a reversal. Looks like, looks like one anyway. Looks like maybe one. Should be one. How about it? The referees are talking about it. I think one would put them both up on their feet. No, oh, he's no, not they didn't give it to him. him. Well, when you, that shows uh, what I know. <laughs> when you watch that on film, I did to say, why wouldn't that be an escape? He got hand control, he got face to face, but that's why we're announcers and not referees. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> okay. That's exactly right. Okay. okay. He got hand control again. Pickles on his feet again. Hand control, working the hand. And they're going out of the bounds. mat again. Yeah, this, this gets old for a referee, uh, Don, when they keep doing this. And that's, I, that's try to, I usually try to talk to him, say, boys, let's keep it in bounds, keep it on the mat. Uh, and again, if I think one wrestler, uh, for one reason or another, takes the other wrestler off the mat, it's a one-point penalty call. Right. And like you he had a false start there, caution. Yeah. So First so time's a caution, next time it'll be a point. Right. So when they go out of bounds like that, what, are, what actually are you looking for? To, to uh, decide, you know, whether it's uh, a penalty or not. If the, uh, the wrestler uh, pulls or pushes, and it's obvious, it, it has to be almost obvious, because it is, it's a tough call. It's a tough call. You couldn't ask for any more action than we're getting right oh, here they're, in this they're match. going at it. They were going at it. Yep. The referees did a good job of preventing injury. You saw him going out of bounds. Both the referees got over there. Of course, uh, uh, the one referee does the state finals in that, so he's pretty experienced. And uh, I think both of them are just doing a fine job getting over there to prevent injury to the wrestlers. And you can see it again. Uh, so if they would fall as yeah, they see, leave the mat, nobody would get hurt. Yeah, right now, right now, I think I talked to the wrestler, say keep it in bounds, and then if I see any yeah. kind of movement that uh, the one wrestler's taking the other wrestler off, I'm going to hit him with a point. Uh, I think they're obligated to stay in that, that wrestling area. Well, obviously, the, the bottom wrestler has been initiating all the moves, trying to get up and get out, 
And if, if he starts to get away, the question is, is, is the wrestler behind shoving him out of, like right there? Right there, right there, right there. Uh, I think we well, got I, I would I think, you I see think, the, the I, coaches are getting concerned. As right. soon as he starts to get away, you can't shove him out of bounds exactly. to avoid the escape. Uh, and that's just my opinion well, as, that, a, as an announcer here. It's just one person's opinion. But when, two, two. I'm, I'm with you, Don. I agree. <laughs> the, this, uh, the, the Indian Hill wrestler gets his, gets hand control. He gets a stand up. He gets to, starts to get face to face. And the other boy sticks his shoulder and, and drives him out of bounds. And, and he hasn't been warned or anything yet. And it, it's happened several times. That's, yeah. that's, that's the key. You know, uh, his coaches, they film this and they'll look at it. And you'll see it over and over again. But the question is, uh, you know, one time, you, know, you don't think about it, two or three times you start. Exactly, and I, I think after the point's called, uh, it won't happen again. Right, that, all that'll the, end uh, it. That's, that's exactly yeah. right. And this yeah. might this might occur in a match, a uh, really an important match, and, and uh, that one point could be uh, the, the deciding factor. Let's look at another situation that's fleeing the mat. For the bottom, uh, wrestler's in a, in a bad position. It looks like he's going to go to his back. And sometimes the wrestler in a defensive uh, position runs out of bounds to keep from going to his back, and that's also a point. So if the bottom wrestler deliberately goes out of bounds uh, to keep from going to his back, he's, he's penalized. So as uh, we're saying here, you have to stay on the mat. Now, if that's not an escape, I don't know what is. There it is, that's an escape. All right, there we go, one point. The Nichols, Indian Hill, the score now five to three. And, uh, about one minute in the second period. Yep. Boy, he takes a hard shot right away. He's got the leg. Good, good wrestler He's got the feet. leg. Big deep single. Yep. Finish now, finish the if single. He, if he can control the head or arm and bring him right to his he back. Will finish it good. There it is, gets a double leg. Double. Up in he's the air. Bring him, now he's Put him on the Excellent, they climb up to the top. He's gonna get at least a takedown out of this. If he can bring him to his back, there's 38 seconds to go. All There's right. a takedown. Seven to three. Seven to three, Indian Hill over Madera. 112 pound club. And he works um, right, see how he works right to the pin? He's going up towards the head. That's what you have to do. If not, it's stalling. Oh, and he chin snaps him back and spins around to keep control. 16 seconds left to go. And the bottom man tries a Gramby. And uh, Elliot counters him. I'll say this, Nichols is aggressive. He, both wrestlers are really putting out a, a, an exhibition of aggression and, and just speed. I mean, they're moving. Good two young wrestlers. Anybody who came, they got their money's worth just watching this match. We got a seven to three going into third period, seven to three, Indian Hill. Just a great match. The Madera wrestler chooses the up position. No, uh, Madera, oh, sorry, chooses, Madera chose the down. down position, right. So he'll, now they use a lot of Peterson, so we may see him try to roll in there. Uh, Peterson's a move of the, the bottom wrestler. Oh, and the top wrestler's going to kick him out. Well, Pretty Nichols, move, Nichols is uh, far yep. the superior wrestler on his feet. Right, I think that was a good move on his part. Doesn't take the chance. Oh, and he's got a headlock on him. Now, if he can control the leg and take him, take him down, and he does. He brings him to his knees, gets around behind. There's two. Ah, yes, far superior on his feet. Good move, because now he's going to try a Peterson or try to roll him from the bottom. He's got to avoid that. I'll tell you what, these are two fine young wrestlers. Both of them uh, are very aggressive, and, and, and the quality of the wrestling here is good. Okay, okay one, one, one point escape. You've got nine to five with about a minute, 30 seconds. Oh, he gets his leg out right away, which is a good move because actually the Madeira wrestler had the leg is what he wants to try to do to counter. Nichols knows he's better on his feet. Great sprawl. Was, was notice, good, notice the Madeira wrestler put his head down. Right. Uh, you young yeah. wrestlers watching this, you want to keep the head up. Always a movement toward up. That's that's right. Keep your head up. When your head goes down, you're going to go down, and you're going to go to the mat, and that's going to just create a lot of bad things. He gets the leg. There's no takedown. As you're watching this, it might appear that the, the wrestler from Madeira has a takedown. He does not because he doesn't have control of it. So they're both up. You have to get behind them and they have total control of them. So that's not a takedown. Exactly right. It has to be controlled. We've got 53 seconds in the third period. We've got a score of nine to five over the Indian Hill wrestler. Yeah, Scott Nichols is one of my one of my best wrestlers. He uh, he was excellent on his feet. Well, he, he's he's done a good job with his son because this boy can wrestle. 
Oh, oh nice deep, shot. Nice deep, deep shot. double. Double. Stay on the mat. Stay on the mat. Now, he, now he's one wrestler. Must keep his supporting position. Keep his supporting parts in. He right, got the two. Okay. The two. two points for takedown. Wasn't that a great shot? He was Good already shot. short. Very deep. Brings Very it deep. back into bounds. And going for the pin. This is some wrestling. It's 11 to 5 now. Two good kids. Both these wrestlers, fine, fine young wrestlers. For the uh, beginning wrestlers, you see how he pulled his head down. And when the Madeira wrestler reacted by going up, he shot and got in deep for the double leg. Nice takedown. And this is going to be it. 11 to 5. Good match. Good match. Great Winner. win. But an excellent, excellent job by both wrestlers, really. Both of them. Ryan yeah, they did, did a they good job win. for Madeira, and Elliot Nichols is the winner. Excellent match. Okay, a little bit about both wrestlers. Coach Bob Kearns, Madeira coach, real fine coach, been doing it a number of years. Puts on, puts on tremendous term, has worked very, very hard at the uh, coaching and uh, does a nice job. Madeira, a, a, a perennial power in, the, uh, in their class. Oh, he almost got an ankle pick here. Uh, this is a first year wrestling for the uh, Indian Hill wrestler. He's a senior, but it's his first year, but he's exhibited a, a tremendous amount of natural ability as far as uh, coordination and stuff. It just he just doesn't have the experience uh, that that you know you get just just by years and, and mat time. It's tough, Don. You know, trying to come out as a senior and and trying to this this sport is a sport that uh, you learn over the years. You learn by experience, and uh, it's just a, a tough situation to come out here as a senior and try to try to uh, do something on the mat. In many programs, you wouldn't have a chance anyway. Because there's, there's a takedown from the Madeira. It's two to nothing, and it's uh, one minute to go in the first period. Okay, the Madeira wrestler is throwing the legs in. Uh, when you put the legs, you got to keep the hips high. I think uh, did he give him the points? No, no he didn't hold nope. him there long enough. Didn't stop him. Nope. He throws the legs in again, and I don't think the Indian Hill wrestler has seen the legs very much, so he's not used to a leg riding wrestler. And that's oh, some point, so oh point. he may roll through though. Look at this. He's coming out the other side. This kid's strong. Good. Now he got the back point, so the score now 4-0. Four, 4-0 four zero. Four zero favor Madeira. And uh, the Indian Hill kid is gifted with some speed and strength to get out of that. That's one of the problems if you don't wrestle during the summer and if you just come out as a senior, you're not used to seeing all these moves which are kind of orchestrated, particularly for a leg wrestler. They know what they're doing and that presents a problem. There is in bad position now. The deer wrestler has got a pretty good pinning combination. And now they're looking for about two seconds. Right. Two seconds, he's not gonna pin him. Not gonna pin him. Picks up three more points, we've got a seven to nothing score. Madeira wrestler looked up like, you know, what do I have to do to pin him? It is, it's both the shoulder blades, the scapula itself. It's not the end of the shoulders, it's the shoulder blades themselves. And that's why you see when they rock up, uh, they can prevent the pin that way. Second period score 7-0, favor Madeira. And the Indian Hill wrestler's gonna, apparently is gonna kick him out, and he does. Uh, they did not get to rewind the clock, that's the problem. The clock was on zero zero, and uh, they weren't ready to, and that's why they, they stopped it to see what the problem was. Okay, the clock's fixed, and we're ready to go. Score seven zero, favor Madeira wrestler. Okay, the uh, on your screen occasionally we'll put the names of the wrestlers up as they're wrestling. But the Madeira wrestler shoots in for a hard single, which is countered uh, by three quarters on the head, is what the news called, three quarter Nelson. And uh, working, working the old head over, huh? Yep, oh, he tried a whip over, and, and the Madeira wrestler countered it. He kept his head down, but you still see uh, three quarters on the head as the counter to the single leg. Go around, that's it, move around and okay. Almost a stalemate situation here. Yeah. Uh, when we say stalemate, we mean either wrestler can better their position. Right. They'll uh, give them a reasonable amount of time 
And uh, basically, if you hold on to the leg, he's holding on the uniform. I'm surprised the referee didn't see that. The Madeira wrestler grabbed the pants of the Indian Hill wrestler to hold on, and that's illegal. You're not allowed to grab their headgear or their uniform to, to uh, maintain control. Wouldn't have made any difference, but you know, it's usually it's a penalty point, but I'm saying as far as uh, it wasn't gonna make any difference in the hold. It's a no-no, it's a definitely a no-no. This boy, for, for being a first-year wrestler, he's being a senior, he's, he's doing a fine job out here for Indian Hill. And I think uh, some of that's credit to the, the uh, individual himself. He's gotta be working hard and, you know, to pick it up that quick, and he's gotta have a lot of natural ability, but also the coaching staff for Indian Hill had to do a good job of preparing him in a short period of time. Halfway through the season, and he's in here, you know, mixing up and doing a pretty good job with, it, with an excellent wrestler. You know, we're seeing, we're seeing here uh, where, where the experience really counts is on your feet on the, in the takedown situation. Oh, he's got him in the cradle. Uh, really hard. His back. Oh, he's in trouble now. This he's in trouble. This could be it. Yeah. That's it. Up, up final called the pin. And was, Barrett goes up in this match 12 to 3. That was a nice uh, pin by the Madeira Russell. He got, a, he got a near cradle and, and, and worked it into a fall. Excellent job by the Madeira Russell. Good job by both, both wrestlers, actually. Well, here's a big match we've been waiting for. This is a big match. It's a pivotal match for the outcome of the, the uh, team points. This is, this is going to be uh, a really important match. Uh, senior captain for Indian Hill, Brian Rena, um, wrestling all year round, traveling to Dayton during the summer, a couple days a week to wrestle with uh, Greco-Roman freestyle with their camps there. Um, he lost last year to his Madeira wrestler, so we're gonna see what uh, difference we have now. Both, both wrestlers are enthusiastic to say the least. Tremendous amount of aggression here in the opening uh, minutes of the match. Both wrestlers trying inside singles. Oh, and he's in deep. That was he's a fireman. In deep. That was a fireman. Yes, it was. Fireman. He hadn't finished quite yet. He's about ready to. He got in there with a high crotch, and he's working up to the head. And it's being countered, a great job of countering it by the Madeira wrestler. Madeira wrestler's holding on to the leg, and as long as he has the leg, there is no takedown. It looks like the Indian Hill wrestler's takedown. He doesn't, and now he works out into a single leg. Brian come out to a single. Brian didn't yep. finish. He doesn't have All it because right, good, good counter Brian here. Rena counters it and counters right. it with a standing switch. Good match, I'll tell you, Don, this is a good one. This is probably the best match of the day so far. Now, was this some great wrestling? Oh, boy, Both wrestlers you. are I'll up. Either one of them have control. Uh, so it goes back to the neutral position. And you just saw each wrestler uh, initiate four or five great high crotch inside uh, step takedowns. Uh, fireman's carry takedowns, and the other one would counter it each time to get the leg out. Yeah, he had what a deep single. Match. Had that good single, but didn't yep. finish it. Had the fireman's, didn't finish it. Yep. Uh, we saw a lot of counters, a lot of, a lot of, they kept moving, kept working, aggressive. Whoever loses this match will think about this all night long. The opportunities they had, they couldn't finish it, but really it's a credit to the end of the wrestler. They okay. couldn't finish it because the other wrestler's great at countering oh, it. Now, here he oh, is he's behind, behind him. him. Oh, yeah, this now, now, now watch the mat here. Okay, uh oh Oh, he goes for a switch oh, right away. Switch. And he's... The re-switch. He would have had him on his Up back. the mat, both up. Great Good job call. by both. Good call. A great, great job by the referee. Great job by both wrestlers. Yeah, Brian, he initiates a good single leg. Ryan... Uh, Brian Rena counters it with the, with the inside switch, and then they go out of bounds. But uh, we have a, a problem with some blood now. Uh, there's a five minute uh, time that a wrestler could use when if he starts bleeding like this. Uh, there's right now the one referee goes over to the uh, scores table and they start a clock and so it's, it's a cumulative thing. So he probably just used a couple of seconds there. Uh, but Brian Rena's had some trouble with the bloody nose uh, most of the year in a lot of his matches. So it's been a recurring problem. Got about 30 seconds, 30 seconds and there hadn't been a score yet, been close. Really close, but well, uh, no, no, no. Crashing no heads, did you notice that? Look at that, right there. Whack. Oh boy, another He's deep fireman. deep. He's in deep. It. Now, he hadn't finished it. Again, but, the Madera wrestler's in trouble, but uh, he hasn't given his position up. He's countered it well with, a, with the uh, underhook. Oh my gosh. He's got to oh, get up got about there. six seconds left. Four oh, there it is, there it is. He, he got his two. head out and he got the two. Right. 
Wasn't that great wrestling by both of them? Now the now oh, the uh, Bob coach Kirk's is questioning question is, the uh, takedown. Yeah, I'll tell you why he's questioning it. Uh, if it, it appears that he didn't have control, but the reason he did, he got his head out and his back was approaching the mat. And so, and, and, and according to the rule book, that's a takedown. So that's what happened there. If he wouldn't have got his head out, if the Madeira wrestler would have kept the headlock, it would not have been a takedown. Brian Rena for Indian Hill got his head out and then worked the, the boys back to the mat, and that's what caused the, the takedown to be executed by the Indian Hill wrestler. It's a two-on-one control. Now, he must work up or go for a tilt. He can't just stay back on the hips, and so he does. You see him work up towards the head now. If he just stays back and holds on, uh, it, it'll be called stalling on the top wrestler. The bottom wrestler must try for an escape or reversal. The top wrestler must be going for a pin at all times. He goes to a T-bar, stands up, he's got the leg in between. And he lifts him up, oh, he goes right to a pinning combination. He brings him right to his back. He isn't there, he's not counting, he has no back points yet. And that was close to a slam, wouldn't you say? What? Hard to say. I've been watching on the TV here. Uh, you got one point, uh, so it's got a two-to-one match. Okay. He gets well, he certainly escape. had some opportunities. When he brought him to the mat, he hit hard. He hit hard. And, and hard, the referee could have, you know, if he would have called a slam, there's not much you could say either way because he did hit hard. When you bring somebody to the mat on a throw or a takedown, you've got to control them to prevent injury. And normally, uh, oh boy, what a single leg! Oh, he's he in deep there. every time. He's oh, got nice... he got a single leg deep. Got the leg, brings him down. If he can get a takedown here, this could be critical. Yeah, we got two to one, I'd make it a four to one match. Isn't, yeah. it, isn't it a great job by the Madeira wrestler to counter it? He knows he's in trouble, he immediately grabs the leg and holds on, which he's allowed to do. Now, the top wrestler for Indian Hills got to get his leg free to get the takedown. You got about 30 seconds here, Don, 30 seconds. There is no takedown. Oh my gosh, he's giving, oh, look the at score this. Two to one, he's gonna try. Oh my gosh, oh, and he gave him a takedown here too. Gave it I don't he believe it. it, I don't believe it. 25 seconds to go. Oh, he had everything going for him. What, a tenacious, a, what a tenacious move for the uh, Madeira kid. With the Madeira down. kid's hung in there and hung in there, and he worked a nice job. He worked a perilous situation into a takedown himself. So Brandon Opicka is winning 3-2 to two versus Ryan Reno of Indian Hill. They don't get any better than this. this Got about 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Oh, Brian's using the switch. Oh, he's got, got the, the switch. switch in. He throws he's the legs the in the but counter. He get those hips if he up. gets ahead, he's in if he trouble. If he get the hips up, see how his hips slipped off there? Yeah. You've got to keep the hips up. You've got to throw those legs. Once your hips, hips slip down, you're in trouble. Notice he's got to keep the hips up. This will be the end of the second period. End of the second period. What a match. What a match. Best one of these nights so far. Yeah, we knew going into this, this was going to be a pivotal match. Uh, the, the, this match and the next two are, are pivotal matches to the outcome of uh, this from the team score standpoint. Uh, Madeira realizes they have to be ahead by more than 18 points at the end because uh, Indian Hill has those upper three weights and uh, they're gonna, they're, it'll be all six points each in those upper three weights. Well, you see a lot of switching and re-switching here. Uh, I, I get the feeling these two boys have met before this year. Uh, not this year, but last year they did. Well, they seem to have it. And it was just like this. Now, now there's a, a typical stalemate. Stalemate. Yeah. stalemate situation. Neither boy can Good really, uh, neither, neither wrestler can uh, do anything immediately that's going to improve I, his I, position. I'm thinking Brian can escape here, and uh, we're going to have a 3-3 three -three match. Yeah, I think so, too. I think, I think you're going to, he's so close each time. Boy, nice stamp. Oh, he's going nice, to go for a nice switch. switch. And he goes to counter switch, but oh, he's got the leg. Oh, there you go, there you go. Well, he's now, trying to throw his leg from the standing again. position. Yep. Again, notice the hip. He's trying to get the leg in. Ryan has his he's leg. He's going to peel him off. He's going to actually lift him and up. There we got another stalemate situation, yep. maybe. No, I think he's going to let this one go. He'll let this one go. Okay, went out of bounds. Potentially dangerous. What they were saying there was uh, when, when he's up and the uh, wrestlers on the top does not have any support with a mat, if they land, he could get hurt. So it's... Uh, uh, whenever you see a leg wrestler, you see anybody in that position, they call it potentially dangerous and just stop rather than uh, take a chance of an injury. And close to locking hands there. 
Now, I, I think maybe we're seeing a little uh, a little stalling here. Oh, oh there we go. There's there we escape. Three there's men. escape. Three to oh, three and a quick he's shot. Deep. He's in deep again on the quick oh, shot. Oh, don't he finish cannot this block. one. Finish this one. Oh, he's going to finish it to his back. There's 47 seconds to go, and this match will be dictated Time by this takedown. Oh, my gosh, and it's about as exciting as you can get. Oh, no. Oh, Get no. And the down. Nice move by the Dara Wrestling. Really a nice move. What an exciting move. We got 30 great, seconds. Great wrestling by both wrestlers. Rita was in deep for the takedown, and he didn't get to finish it. And the Madura wrestler, we got to give him a lot of credit. He turned up another perilous situation into a takedown for himself. Did you notice how the Madera wrestler finished that takedown? No, it was, yeah. Uh, it was quick and it was hard. 30 now seconds to go. Now, I think we need a stalling call here. If you want, let oh, but look at oh, this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Let's see the hip. Notice that we talked about the hip before. And those legs, you got to keep that hip right high all the time, driving into the other left. Oh, seconds we got a close go. situation with 10 seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, we're going to get it. Oh, he's got the arm. Kept watching him drive the hip over the top. He's got to bring the hip over the top. Four, three, two, one. What a match. Five to what three. Match. Oh, that's critical. That match. was a good match. And these two will see each other again uh, in the league, and they'll see each other again in sectionals. Oh, boy. So will these be some matches? Oh, that's right. Great Pretty job good wrestling. Good by good both wrestling. wrestlers. Super match. Good, wrestling. Couldn't ask for anything more. Now, you said that was a pivotal match, Don. Uh, you mean that this could, that could decide the outcome of this? There's, there's three matches. That one, there's one coming up here. And the following match, these three in a row are pivotal matches uh, to decide the outcome for the team. And uh, wasn't that a great match, though, by both wrestlers? I'll tell you, when it comes right down to the last minute, and uh, everybody's uh, screaming. and If you didn't enjoy that match, you don't enjoy wrestling. <laughs> That's exactly right. right. It doesn't get any better than that. Now here's here's a wrestler for uh, Indian Hill, a real success story. Uh, he won one match as a sophomore, won 20 as a junior, and that's saying something. That's a long way to come. This Madera, Madera wrestler. This is one strong. of Madera's better wrestlers. Oh, it's strong and, wrestler. Uh, nice you can wrestler. see extremely physical, extremely physical. But not only that, he's he's a good wrestler. I watched him earlier in the preliminary rounds, and and this kid can wrestle. He's he's good. So uh, we're going to see a, a much improved wrestler for Indian Hill uh, versus a very physical, strong wrestler uh, who's obviously accomplished a lot in, in his career from Madeira. So good match again. And once again, these are three pivotal matches. Now you can see that you can see the good coaching here. Bob Kern, uh, Madeira. Good. Do you see good, solid, fundamental wrestling? Uh, I, I imagine this boy's either junior or senior. I don't have any yet. Facts on him, but he uh, he's been around the mat a while, and he does what he has to. And uh, notice he covers the hips on the ride. Right, stays behind, riding hard, controlling an arm all the time. He stays close with his hips too. He's not loose. Good wrestler. They're out of bounds. We'll come back to the middle, and uh, Indian Hill wrestler Drew Galera return to the mat. He's going to try to get the escape. And now, uh, what, what year is the Indian Hill wrestler here? What he's he? a senior. Senior. Okay. His first year wrestling uh, was his sophomore year, and like I said, he won one match, and then uh, was the most improved wrestler, he had the most set of school record for near falls last year, and won over 20 matches and went to districts. So it's saying something, quite an improvement in one year. I don't think I've ever uh, seen a wrestler improve that much in one year. He's got his hands full now. Yeah, I, th I think the experience factor here is, it, I noticed it, that uh, they're on the, one wrestler's out of bounds, the other one is supporting parts are still in. Yeah. Now, uh, the Indian Hill wrestler, if he would have grabbed the mat, which he, you know, he's over there by the side, and, and pulled himself out of bounds, they're going to call fleeing the mat. The uh, Madeira wrestler had a, a tilt combination, which go right into a pinning combination. Okay, we had a false start. And uh, they have to be perfectly still until the referee blows the whistle. Perfectly still. Now the referee's trying to figure out which one of them jumped, and one of the two of them jumped, and he asked the, the other referee if he's sure which one. There was no warning because he wasn't sure which one of them jumped. So that was a good job. He saw movement but wasn't sure which one did. Got a two to nothing score here in the first period. We got about 15 seconds. Madera leading two to nothing. 
And Madeira Wrestler, uh, what I like about this is Ryan Lathan. He's winning two to nothing versus Drew Gleer of Indian Hill. Ryan Lathan is uh, controlling the arm all the time. He chops the arm, he brings it back to the hips, or brings it back through the legs, and uh, he controls the arm, and, and this, this really eliminates a lot of the things that, that Drew Gleer can do to escape. So what, what Drew has to do is get that arm free right from the whistle. He's got to get his arms out or reach down, back and, and grab uh, Lathan's hands. Uh, Don, you know, when that, when that referee blows that whistle, that's so important that the, the, the down wrestler moves, and he has to move, and he has to move quickly, or uh, this, this wrestler from Madeira is experienced enough and tough enough, he's going he's gonna to break the uh, down wrestler, he's going to break the Indy Hill wrestler down, right. and, and then he loses all his, all his opportunities to, to get three, out. There's three seconds to go, and uh, he, asked, he asked his coach what he should do, and he said just chop him and, and hold on to him for a second. Uh, there was some question there about the, the mat tape was coming loose, and the referee wanted it to be checked, and they did, and I think it's fixed, and so we should be okay now. But the mat tape gets loose. You can see where somebody could trip on it, Matt. So uh, that keeps the seam from coming apart and uh, exposing the wood underneath, and somebody could get hurt. Madera's is underneath trying to come out, trying for that escape or reversal. This Latham is a strong kid. I mean, he you can see, uh, oh, he got a leg ride by Drew, but it's countered. Lathan grabs the foot, which is one of the counters, to pull him up over your head. And, and Drew is, uh, Gleer is, is pretty high, and Lathan tries to counter it. Now what he's trying to do, the bottom wrestler is trying to pull him up over his head. You get too high, and he did. He pulls him off, and that's one of the counters to the legs. If the leg wrestler gets too high, reach up and grab by his arm or his head and pull him over the top, almost like taking a sweater off, and that's a counter to a leg ride, and that's what he did. And, uh, so he gets two points for a reversal, and the score is 4-0 favor, Ryan Latham versus uh, Drew Gleer. Now he's got an arm bar, the uh, potentially dangerous was called. Uh, I guess the arm bar slipped was a little it? too high. So you got too high with it and worked it? I, okay. I, I think that's what it was. He's controlling that two-on-one. He's got to work up. If he doesn't work up, they're going to call Stalin. And, and, and he will. He's a pretty aggressive wrestler. He's just he's, he's, he's being outside now. Today. Notice he's outside, and uh, the bottom wrestler has to make an effort to come up. It's, you know, if you're going to turn him loose, I always would tell the kids, uh, I think it's better to turn him loose when you've got some time to get a takedown, you know, with, with uh, 13, 14 seconds. Just good. Just keep coming. Just, just ride him for a couple of good. seconds there, right. Mm -hmm. You know, I noticed over here on the side of the mat, you haven't got the rule calls for five foot all the way around the mat. And uh, again, the referee's doing a good job keeping him off the hard He certainly is. Certainly is. Because Kyle he's Farmer, just... uh, the referee that's working the match here now, is a former Indian Hill wrestler, former great Indian Hill wrestler. Uh, and his brother it was a wrestling family and uh, did a great job. I think uh, if we look in the record books, Ralph had uh, more pins than anyone in the uh, history of Indian Hill. And, uh, this a few years back, I don't know. If if that's been beaten, but Ralph had a tremendous number of wins. And not, not only that, uh, he's become a, a, a stalwart in the, in the officiating ranks here. He does a state uh, championship match each year, and he's been officiating for over 20 years. So he's experienced. Wish you wouldn't have said that, Don. It makes me feel old. 20, he's been officiating 20 years, and I had him when he was a freshman. Oh, he's going to give he's him another point. He's going to let him go again. Now it's 4-2. Now 4-2, a takedown take down, take down for the Indian Hill wrestler. will tie it up. No, wait a minute. I guess they said they were out of bounds. The referee must have stopped oh, Okay. Him. He's going he's to turn him loose. There it is. Now he's got 4-2. Four 4-2 to four to two with 1.23 to go. The score's not right on the score. Oh, there they got it. Now it's correct. 4-2. to two. And if uh, Drew Gleer can initiate a takedown, that'll tie the score. Oh, he's oh, deep. deep, deep take what down. a shot, deep up to the shoulder. It's a great shot by the uh, by Lathan from Madeira. And that makes the score six to two. And now the bottom wrestler must try to initiate a takedown. He can't just stay there. He's got to work his way up or he'll be worn. And Lathan turns him loose again. That makes it six to three with 50 seconds to go. Yeah, here again, the experience factor. Oh, and he you know, drops down deep. For another single leg. Well, first year wrestler just uh, doesn't have a chance with the experience yeah. with this Nathan. Nathan, fine wrestler. Fine wrestler. 
They've got to let him go again. Yep. Makes it eight to four. Now watch this. Watch how deep he gets in there. He used a little setup. Okay. They worked their way out of bounds, and, and we're lucky that the referee didn't warn. Uh, the Indian Hill wrestler has to go forward. He can't work his way backwards or work the edge of the mat. And uh, so, but they didn't warn him. There it is. They did warn him now. Okay. You cannot back up continually as they're coming at you. Your allowed initial reaction time to back up. If somebody shoots, you can, you can uh, just reaction get back, but you can't take a couple steps backwards in a row or that's going to be stalling. So it was one point for the Madeira wrestler, for the Indian Hill wrestler backing up. And that's the match, scores, gives him the takedown, and that makes 11 to four, favor Latham of Madeira over Drew Blair of Indian Hill. Ryan Latham, Ryan Latham uh, nice win, nice win. Okay, the team score now is 18 to three, favor Madeira. 18 to three, favor Madeira. Okay, this is a freshman for uh, Indian Hill, and his name is Ryan Combs, and he had a, a great junior high season as an eighth grader. And uh, this year, early on, he wrestled in a couple reserve tournaments and, and won them. And now he's at the varsity level. And you can see, uh, for a freshman, uh, he's built like a senior. He's, he's just a real strong kid and has uh, done real well as a freshman. But he's going to be wrestling against a more experienced wrestler from Madeira here. And uh, we'll see what happens in the outcome. But experience uh, is hard to overcome. The dear wrestler has taken that. I'm impressed with uh, Bob Turns and the coaching and the team he has here. He's, he's done a fine job. You see some, uh, and as you said, I imagine the, these boys have been stuck with the program and uh, it pays off. Well, Madeira has uh, actually an A and a B uh, team at the junior high level. Um, they have enough kids out and uh, double kids in certain weight classes that they have an A and a B team. And so uh, that pays off when you get enough well, kids you know, at junior you know, high you level. You consider the size of Madeira. Right. They have an A and a B team in junior high. Well, I tell you that Bob's worked hard to develop right. that program. And uh, I think Indian Hill in the future is going to have this uh, because we've got a young coaching staff and uh, one of the uh, members, the head coach, Reggie Wax, is in the district, and that's what you need. You need a coach in the district. The best teams are teams that have teachers uh, coaching within uh, the district so they can recruit kids out and take care of any problems that take place, make sure their grades are up and everything else. All those things are necessary. Here's a situation uh, that's close to a stalemate situation. I think they're going to go up the mat without a change. A lot of people would think it, that it looks like there's a leg right in there, but there's really not. It's the wrong leg in. Combs better get out of bounds here and realize where he is. See the line. About 30 seconds. Yeah, see the line and get out of bounds. Okay, there's no point scored here because the, the pinning uh, parts of the, of the body, the scapula, the shoulder what? blades are out. So even though they go to their back in that, it, it, it's not going to be a pin. Now he's got him back in bounds. Smart move by an experienced wrestler from Madeira. Bring him back in bounds now with just two seconds to go. Uh, okay, and that'll, that'll end with no points. Well, two to nothing. Okay, well, flip of the coin is coming. won by the Indian Hill wrestler, and he defers. And what this means, uh, Ryan Combs has decided to let Pat, Pat Longstrip uh, choose whether he wants to have the up or down position. So if you win the coin toss, you can either choose or you can defer to the third period. And he deferred to the third period. Uh, Pat took the, the Madeira wrestler, Pat took the uh, down position. And uh, so Ryan has the uh, up position and the referee's position. Okay, he gets a half turn in, he gets the leg. There's no score as of yet. Neither, neither wrestler has control, but Combs gets a cradle. It's a far cradle, and he's going to let it go, though. The deer wrestler keeps his leg. If you can work towards him and lift him up, he could get an escape or reversal. He always got a double leg now and brings it to his back, but he counters by rolling over. Now, that's a move you see in freestyle a lot, where they grab and just roll him over. Yes. I look like the Bargain City kid. Right. <laughs> in freestyle wrestling, you're allowed to, if you just expose their back, uh, freestyle Olympic wrestling, you get points. And, so you see that a lot. You see gator rolls, and you see, see him grab and just flip them over. But in uh, 
and high school scholastic wrestling, you get no points for that. So he lets him go, and he immediately shoots, and that makes the score 3-0. There's no takedown yet, and there it is. Takedown by Pat Lenton, the uh, Madeira wrestler, gets a takedown. Now Pat, Pat Longstrip is winning 5-0 with that takedown, and he goes to immediate far cra cradle. Now he controls the leg as best he can. Brian Combs comes and faces in. This is not an escape. It looked like they were chest to chest, but it's not an escape because Pat Longstrip still had the leg. Hard to do anything on your belly. You gotta, you right. gotta get some height above the mat. And uh, here he's coming up now. He's coming up now. No point scored on that. He reaches in and grabs the leg. Now if he steps back over. Uh, there's a chance he may get a reversal here. He's Looks strong enough to initiate it. There's 28 seconds to go in this period. No point scored. Still 5-0. Favorite Pat Longstreet. Okay, and. and He's in a position with 14 seconds to go. Now he, he probably won't be able to free himself in a short period of time. Although he has the leg. Both wrestlers are almost in a stalemate okay, position. Yeah, stalemate, but I think we let him yeah. go away too long. Okay. Yeah. okay. I think the refs, the reason they let it go, it kind of looked like if he got both legs pulled him underneath, he might be able to get something out of there, but it's, it's pretty tough. You know, looking at this team score, Don, we've got 18 points. We know Indian Hill's going to get 18 points. And uh, right. Say right now it's 18 to 3, so so we're not in bad shape here. It's still a close match. No, you're right. Oh, both kids shoot. Nice. He drinks him right. Nice. Oh, boy, nice. they, they hit heads. They hit heads. Boy, they did. They clung. Okay, that move that he used, depends on what you want to call it. It's either called a... Uh, a Schultz low single, or it's called a fast delivery, but you see it more and more since they've changed where they both start so close to each other. Both wrestlers initiated a, a, a fast delivery takedown, and they both looked like they collided, and uh, and Combs got the best of the deal. Yeah, we heard that. We heard that. Oh, they shot again. They hit again. And now this time, this time, uh, the Madeira wrestler gets the leg. He doesn't have the takedown yet, but he's... He's uh, certainly in a better position to get it. He finished this the first time, his first takedown of the match. He had the same situation, and he was able to get his arm inside that leg. But this time, he's. Uh, I think we're going to end up in a stalemate situation. Yeah, Pat Longstreet has the leg from Madeira, but he does not have a takedown. And and uh, Ryan Combs now, he may initiate right, a takedown. Straighten that himself. leg out. If he kick his leg out of there, he uh, he'd be in great shape. Right. There, he's got the leg out now. He's just got to get his other leg free. If the Indian Hill wrestler can get his right leg free, he's going to initiate a takedown. And there it is. Oh, he almost has it. He's got to get the leg free. Uh, I don't think he's going to do that. I, no. I'm afraid we're going to have still experienced. He's going to hold on to that. Oh! Oh, almost the end. He's back. He's got him stacked. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, my goodness. Well, folks, if you're videotaping this, you run that one again and see from this from this person's viewpoint, I thought I thought it was. I, I thought, thought I kind of. He two looks seconds. back. Got about 30 seconds. We've got a six to six match. It's six to six is the score, but he's got to stay high. He doesn't, he doesn't want to let him get that leg. No, 20 no, seconds guys, to go. Be careful. Be stay careful. behind. Oh, stay behind. There's experience wrestling there. Got him. Eight seconds to go, score is eight to six. Favor Madeira, three seconds to go. Three seconds to go. Oh, oh he, he gets a reversal. It. He gets a reversal. It's eight match. It's eight to eight. What a match. Yeah. Oh, what, what, what a, a match. match. What a match. And out of a freshman, out of a freshman, both wrestlers, great wrestling. Now we're going in overtime, I'm folks. Sure, I'm sure if that Madeira boy would have known that. Uh, oh, if he knew the only had two seconds, he could have held on. Hold on. Oh, boy. That's but, knowing but, what time. But by both wrestlers. Now, the first wrestler to score here wins the match. Scores 8 to 8. They're going for a takedown. Now, they're going to discuss this, and I'll tell you why. They're going to ask if it was a three or two point near fall over there before. Remember when, uh, right. when the Indian Hill wrestler had him stacked yeah. up? I think and, it was a two and, point and, near uh, fall. We don't have instant replay here. But when you see this on your cable, 
he might want to film that and see what happened because he was stacked straight up. He had his head underneath and he held him. It looked now, like you, a fall. It looked like a fall. If you rock through, it's not a fall. If you rock through, well, he, he stopped. But it. he stopped. He him. definitely and, stopped. Uh, it. Tough call. And you know what? These are two great referees, and, and uh, you know I don't want to uh, second guess them because you know we're we're obviously uh, we're emotional here because we're we're involved with the kids and we see them every day and. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Madeira is looking at it from this uh, opposite viewpoint that he went on through. But uh, from either side, it was an exciting, exciting match. Now they're going to look at they're, they're counting the score. Oh, they're, they're going to what's that? What's the the back points? I know what. What do you think here? You think that they're they're looking at? I was trying to go two? back in my mind and figure out what the score was. I. They're they're going to discuss at the table. I think whether it's three points or two points on that on when he had him fall. stacked up. I think up. it was a two point near fall, but I'm trying to think back on the score when 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 the action took place over there. I think he was down by four points, right, Don? Is that yeah? Good? And boy, you know what? Right now, as a kid who's out there on the mat, either one of them, uh, fine wrestlers, been going hard. Your adrenaline's flowing, and now you got this long break while they're trying to figure the score out. Now it's difficult. You got to mentally get ready to go again because it's it's a sudden death, all or nothing. I think unless, the Madera wrestler, uh, uh, you know, I don't think he knew the time. He certainly could have held on for about another uh, it's two seconds, uh, two, <laughs> about a, a second and an eight. Yeah. Oh, that was something. And, uh, but uh, he didn't know. He didn't know where he, where what where he was and what the uh, what the time was. But uh, it's been a great match. You know, tell me this isn't an exciting sport. If, if you if you don't sport. like the matches you're seeing today, you don't like wrestling. That's exactly this is right. this is. Uh, this is what it's all about. And people really don't understand the sport and uh, they think of big time wrestling or something. They don't know what this is really about. Uh, we tried to explain a little bit. So if this is the first match you've watched, we try to explain how the scoring takes place. And, and uh, oh, it's, they're, they're clapping hands from Madeira. So I think that they're expecting this to go into overtime. Now the Indian Hill crowd starting to get excited over there. Overtime. This is it, overtime. Here we go. The first wrestler to wins the match. Get ready, buddy. They're going to bungle, folks. Here we go. Shoots a fast delivery and doesn't get it. And he shoots hard. Combs counters it. He's in deep. Oh, almost. Either one of them could have had it. Head and arm. Head and arm takedown. Combs gets his head out. It's a takedown. And there it is. Oh, he didn't get his head out. He still got the head. Nobody has a takedown. It appears with the head and arm, looks like he has a takedown, but he does not, because he doesn't have total control with it. Oh, I'll tell you what. If he gets the arm out, it's good. There, there it is. is. There he, is. Wins. There he wins. He wins. Yes. Yes. What a match. What a match. What, what a, a match. match. He's fired up. He's fi I'm fired Ryan up. Is fired up. Yeah, buddy. You <laughs> gotta match. love it. You gotta Pat, love it. Pat Longstreet did what a fine match. job. Both wrestlers. Good match. Really what a, a match. match. I think the uh, Madera wrestler just kind of petered out a little bit. I think he got a little tired. He shoots uh, a fast delivery right off, doesn't get it. The Madera wrestler counters it. Good match. Head and arm could, counter, could be the out of it. In what a match. match. And that was one of the three pivotal matches. So, folks, when you look at the score, it appears that the score is 18 to 6, but Indian Hill has is going to get uh, three pins in a row at the end. Woo! Woo! Now, the ref could call this a slam. That be was, careful, be careful. You gotta you watch that. that. You're That's our kid. Right. When you take him down, you gotta control yourself. Okay, for Indian Hill, we have a senior, Rick Schwab, who's got his leg caught. He's in bad shape here. And there's a takedown. He should get to his face. Two to nothing. Favor Madeira. Rick Schwab's initiating a stand up. Gets oh, turned. There's one, one point, point escape. Good escape. Nice escape. Stand up and escape. Good hand control. Rick, Rick Schwab has a, a move that a lot of Indian Hill wrestlers have. It's called a gator roll. We're going to see and he's that in, gator oh, he's roll in, now. He's getting ready to get in that position. Oh, took him right to his back. And oh. he forces him over. Oh, he gets too, oh he's oh. getting too high. He's getting too high. He's got to get his head up. I'll tell you. He's too, There's he's two. Are, are these two okay. physical wrestlers they or what? physical wrestlers. Now, here's one thing that's unusual. Rick Schwab threw the legs in, and he's not a leg wrestler, so he's being a little creative here. <laughs> and, uh, okay, we've got a cross face ride. He's going to look for a cradle. You better watch so he doesn't get his head hit. Is he a cradle man, Don? Uh, he, he can throw some cradles, right, but he's not a leg wrestler. I don't know why he did that. 
but he does a lot of extemporaneous things that are kind of unexpected. Sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. Good sit out here. He's uh, we, out we've got two he's extremely get... strong wrestlers. Two now he's in a gator roll position. There, there it the is. Gator, right? There it is. He got him in the gator roll. There and he's the got there it is. He has pinned so many wrestlers with that move. Yes. There's the gator roll. You see the gator roll again. A lot. Get out there in the mat. Oh, buddy. He has pinned so many wrestlers with a gator roll. Okay. Now you've seen it, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Yes, sir. There was the gator. Yeah. Too bad. You Too wait. bad we don't have replay. You wait long enough, and you're going to see, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's got to be 90% of his matches are won with that move. Boy, I'll tell you, it was quick. Yep. It was quick. Yep, that was exciting. Okay, so we get a pin there, and the, the team score is now 18 to 12, and um, we're up to the 145-pound weight class. Oh, and we've got an aggressive start by the Madeira wrestler. Looks like we got two good ones here again. Oh, brings oh. it to his, oh, almost to his back, and he counters it. Oh, I got a feeling this is going to be a, a, a match. The way they're wrestling, well, be watch, careful, be watch careful, they don't go out of bounds into the chairs. We're getting excited, folks. They went all the way off into the chairs. You're getting your money's worth if you just turned in. You missed a lot of great wrestling, but just hang around, folks. This is an exciting match. Oh, great, he walked right into a double. Shot. Walked right into a double. Had his hands up. Great shot. Oh, he's not going to get a, Oh, there goes the old. All There's right, two. Two, two to nothing, Indian Hill. Two to nothing, favor Indian Hill, and it's Brad Downs from Madeira, who's almost, well, okay, they called it, he, it looked like he had an escape, but they said they were still, they, they were uh, out of bounds when he got it, so he didn't get the escape, and they go back down. And plus, you have to turn and face the guy, you can't just, you know. Got a minute, 18 seconds, two to nothing, Indian Hill, Indian Hill up on top. Got putting a half oh. in, up there putting half that half in. Half a bar, in. half in oh, a bar, oh, oh he's got him with a big combination. Ball. If he doesn't get too high, this is going to be a big oh, high point move. Madera's in trouble. Oh, he's got it. It's a high point move. He's got him to the back. He's just got to hold it. Don't get turned. There. It, oh, he's oh, there. It's, it's close. It's close. It's, it's very close. close. Got about 50, plenty of time. 50 seconds. Yep, 45 seconds to go. He's got to just keep him where he is. And, and even if he doesn't get the pin, just wear him out. That's right, when you're fighting for your life down in that mat. Oh, he's okay, he belly so down, belly down, he's all right. That was three more points. So he got a five to nothing score. And that's John Reckling is winning five to nothing versus Brad Downs of Madeira. Oh, and he gets another bar and a half. Brings oh, the old bar's working. If it rests on working. it, that should be it. There, there it, is. it is. Yes. There yes. comes Indian Hill. Here comes yes, the Brave. Bar and a half. Bar and a half for the pin. John Reckling with a pin over Brad Downs. First period pin, and I'll tell you what, the bar and a half, he got it twice, bar and a half, and put him right over for the pin. Was that a great match, too? Both kids, uh, excellent wrestling by both wrestlers, and the bar and a half made the difference. Now the boys are getting bigger now. Here yeah, we go. 152. They have to wait a second. We haven't got the clock straight. The score is 18 to 18 on team score. Tell Everett. us a little bit about this Indian Hill uh, wrestler, Don. We got a second. Senior we're trying, we're trying to get, okay, here we go. Just one of the inner in between. First, first year, first year wrestler. First year wrestler. We don't, right. can't see his face even. Brings him right to his back. He's in bad shape here. He's got both arms. Three point near fall. He's gonna turn and Madera wrestler lets him go. And we've got a five to one score. I'll tell you, some of these kids for first year wrestlers, Don, are doing a good job. You know, it's uh, it's amazing. We got to give the uh, there's a the lot more to coaches. learn. Yes, a the lot coaches should get this. a lot of credit because there's a lot 
more to this sport than most people realize. I wonder what are one of the Indian Hill coaches. They are uh... Reggie Wax is the, is the head coach, and, and and it's funny he brought in uh, Lou. Oh no, we're in a bad position here. He's got a near cradle, but uh, the other coach, Lou, the reserve coach, uh, has done a fine job getting kids out for our reserve team. But back to this uh, action here. Uh, you had a near cradle, and, and uh, he's going to get back points for that. And the score now is uh, nine to two, favoring Madeira. This Madeira boy looks strong. Yeah, he's got oh, and uh, we got a Mike Evans versus Jordan Hall for Indian Hill. Mike Evans, yeah, Mike Evans brings him to his back. Mike Evans is one of their best wrestlers, and there's a pin. Yeah, we've got a fall. Yeah, yeah, Mike Evans is one of their best wrestlers. And Jordan Hall for Indian Hill is a first-year wrestler. So, you know, he did pretty well just staying in there as a first-year wrestler versus, you know, Jordan Hall. One year, how much can you learn in one yeah, year, Don? Well, a half a year. We're only halfway through, and he just started. Exactly. And, and, and uh, Evans, Evans is a, a real fine wrestler for Madeira, and we knew going into this that that would be, you know, uh, one of their strong weights. There's no doubt about this. Okay, now who we got coming up here, Don? Okay, the team score is 24-18, favor of Madeira, and we're in the 160-pound weight class. And uh, this is a district qualifier uh, for, this is a district qualifier, Pat Thomas for Indian Hill versus Andy Lumpkin. And, and, and Lumpkin is a real good wrestler, and uh, he's, got a, he's having a fine year this year. And he is, he's got, uh, the takedown right there, the ref, yeah, he just gave it. So it's two to nothing in favor of Lumpkin. Pat Thomas is a real strong wrestler, and uh, last year he made it to districts, and uh, I think that was quite an accomplishment, and he's, I'm sure he's proud of that, and he should be. Pat, Andy Lumpkin has done very well in the tournaments this year. He's got a nice record. He, he, he's an experienced wrestler, and... Uh, He's got a caution though. <laughs> As a, he's an experienced wrestler, but when he put his when he when he mounted, he put his hand all the way around the stomach of, of Pat Thomas. You can't do that. It has to be right on the middle of the stomach, uh, right where the navel is. It can't go all the way around to the rib cage. So there's a caution for that. Pat Thomas initiates a stand up, but uh, oh, he's gonna he's he's trying to move. He's got the head. He's got him. Now it should be got one. He's always he's, gonna get oh. If he stays on top, he's got two, and he does. And the All score right. is two to two right now. Okay, what happened there? Pat Thomas started a sit out, uh, pretty simple move, junior high move. Um, Lumpkin put his head over the shoulder and then Pat Thomas did a move called a gazzoni. And uh, that's how he got out. So these things, as you're watching this, if you're new to the sport, it looks as if it's kind of extemporaneous and they're just rolling around and they're really not. These are, are, are moves that they practice uh, each day in, in, the, in the practice room and they practice at home when they can uh, with uh, they have some brothers that they can or, or even with their dad some of the uh, better wrestlers their parents have coached or they have a brother who's on the team or has been on the team before and they, they practice these moves right now scores four to two favor Lumpkin and uh, Pat Thomas grabs a leg and if he can come over the top and break that cradle if he can break the cradle, he's okay. If not, he's in bad shape, and he's got his arm and leg. So and the referee's counting there. They're going to give him two points. I him. don't know if they are not. It looked kind of like he rocked through, and he hasn't he hasn't uh, indicated any. Yeah, he did. There it is, two points. So he did give him he did give him two back points. And the reason he didn't give it right away is because they still had the hold. So you know, Don, uh, just looking around this gym, you know, if you want to develop a program, uh, now you know it's great to wrestle in this tournament, but look around, look at the excitement. If people are excited, you're seeing dual matches. You're seeing Madeira right down the street from Indian right, Hill. Two, right. two schools that are in close proximity, and uh, right. they're, they're, they're battling for the, for the king of the hill. <laughs> this yeah. is great. This is really great. Well, and this is what develops wrestling programs. That's, that's right. That's right. Pat Thomas lets him go. Uh, Pat Thomas, there it is. He, he, it's his, his best takedown is a high crush, which he tried. And the reason it didn't work is he let go of the elbow. He, you know, it, you, everything has to be done exactly uh, perfectly the way it's choreographed. He let go of the arm. If he'd have kept the arm, he might have had the high crotch and could have gotten a takedown. Instead, um, Lumpkin really did a good job of, of countering it. Spins around behind him, and he's, he has a takedown now. So scores nine to two. Pat Thomas grabs a leg. Now we're going to go back to that same position we were in before. And Thomas got the head and arm. Oh, he's got yeah. the head and arm. If he can get a pin out of this, 
Head and arm, he's got the reversal, and he's got three. He just scored five points on this move, and if he can keep his, his shoulder blades down, this could be a pin. He's got the head and arm, it's a legal move. He's got him in a pinning combination. I think, he, I think and, he's oh, there. Oh, there it is! That's it. That's yes, it. buddy! Yes, buddy! Oh, what a win! That what was a, a big win! One. That was a big one. Oh, you know, uh, the yes, the wrestler, crowd's going crazy. You know, uh, the Look Madera wrestler the crowd just put himself in a really Indian. bad position. Pandemonium, baby. The Indian Hill crowd's going wild. We get a pin. And, you know, to be honest with you, uh, you know, he was in dire straits. We had, a, 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 But that's the way it goes no matter what the score is, as long as there's not a 15-point differential. If you get a pin, the match is over. And so even though it looked like he was way behind, team score, 24-24, and now comes Whit Margo, who's had a great year for Indian Hill, could win 30 matches. And I'll tell you what, the well, they, Madeira both kid both had a great strong. shot. Yes. They strong. Oh, uh, Whit Margo is one of the strongest 171s in the city. Look at this. Look, Look at this. Be careful. Be oh, careful. Yes. He's one of the strongest, fastest, best conditioned 171s in the city. Could go to state. He's a, he's a hammer. There's no doubt about it. He's a hammer. And, and the improvement. Last year, his first year of wrestling, and he gets hurt midway through the season in the weight room. He hurt his back. Uh, nice shot. And there's, there's oh a boy, takedown. he looks strong. Looks strong. Oh, he is. He got hurt in the weight room last year. Down. And in the middle of the season, uh, he had ended his season where he had an injury to his spine. Goes right to a cradle. Good, tough cradle. Look at it. Look at the arms and the leg strength of this kid. Just brings him right to his back. And and, and the and from the other side, this Madeira kid is a real strong kid himself. He counters it. Nice stand up. He goes to a T bar to counter the stand up. Good match, two to nothing. Now Witt is a senior. Two zero, Witt's a senior, and uh, he went to districts, or no, take it back, he was injured last year in the middle of the year, but this year, uh, I think he's gonna be the odds on favorite uh, in districts. I think he may be the number one seed. Look at this, I mean, Boy, he is, he's right there. Right the there. last month, he has handled everybody just the way he's going right here. Extremely strong and aggressive and, and right in their face type of wrestler. You don't have to look for him, he's right in front of you. Nice shot. He's oh, in deep to the shoulder. Oh, be careful picks now, him be up. Careful. Brings him to the middle of the mat. Now he doesn't want to slam him. He's got him under control, oh. and he does. Now he does not have the takedown until now. Now he has the takedown, brings him to his back. He's got him in a pinning I combination. Think it's about it. I that think should it's about be it. it right there. And there it is. It's a pin. Yeah, well, you, you yes, called that buddy. one, Don. You, you, yes, you called buddy. It. Yes, yeah, fine. buddy. Nice young-looking wrestler. Yes. Good wrestler. Yes. Both wrestlers. Strong wrestlers, but Whit Margo, uh, Whit bigger, Margo. stronger, faster. Yes. Could could be looking at a potential uh, state candidate right there. We've got yes. Indian Hill, 30 yes. points. Madera, 24 points. And now we come. With that pin, Whit Margo set a school record for pins. 19 in a single season. 19 pins this season, which is a school record. Whit Margo, 19 pins this season. And now coming out at 189, Brian Ray. He'll win by forfeit. Too bad, I wanted to see him wrestle. <laughs> uh, that's, that's it, that's kind yeah. of a, like kissing your sister. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the coaches was complaining now, about which, uh, which takedown. Thought Chris maybe Thomas was, will win on a forfeit. Thought maybe it was a slam. And now, and 275 now another forfeit at 275 is Todd Van E. So Indian Hill is going to win by a, a large margin here due to 48 to 24. They win. Yeah. Great Don's been match. great working with you. Yes, I enjoyed and, uh, it too. We're going to come down. We're going to run some rabbits. Okay, we'll do, we'll do a little hunt okay. together. It'll be good. All right, great match. Indian Hill wins at 49-24. Sam shaking and, hands uh, there. We had some really exciting matches. You know what? Look at the sportsmanship. You saw what went on during the match, and look at both teams. Great sportsmanship by Madeira, great sportsmanship by Indian Hill, and that's really what high school sports are all about. Shaking hands. Uh, the coach is shaking hands over there. And uh, folks, if you've not seen wrestling before, except maybe on this broadcast, I hope you uh, get the schedule of your local team. And there you see the team trophy held by In the Hill for the King of the Hill Tournament. You see him holding up the team trophy. 
The seniors are excited, they've worked hard, and we had you know, a, a team, as we said in the beginning, with a lot of seniors, uh, one junior, uh, which is Pat Thomas, and, and one uh, sophomore, which is Brian Ray, and the rest are all freshmen. So we got a great group. They're coming out with a little bit of ceremony in the middle here. And uh, we want to thank everybody that's involved with this. All right, we're going to say goodbye for the King of the Hill tournament coming to you from Indian Hill High School. Uh, Indian Hill again, the final score, Indian Hill 35, Madera 24.